So our research is based on trying to find new drugs to treat the malaria parasite. Malaria is a nasty disease, it kills probably around about 600 to 800,000 people in the world every year. These people are largely children just at the beginning of their life. We've only got one drug at the moment that's actually effective against malaria and there's already resistance developing. So what we're trying to do is develop a new drug that will actually stop people dying from malaria and that that drug will be useful for decades unlike the current crop of drugs. So what we're doing is a, is a totally new approach. We're actually targeting the, the host and not the parasite. Now, there's really good evidence from nature that this is going to work because in humans living in malaria regions, say in Papua New Guinea and Africa, they've got a large number of mutations that affect their red blood cell that actually prevent them from dying from malaria. And those mutations have been around for sometimes tens of thousands of years. So the parasite has not been able to become resistant to those mutations. So what we are trying to do is trying to mimic those mutations using drugs. The science is fascinating for a large number of reasons. You've got the ability to actually make a very large difference because if you do something in a laboratory which is then translated into the clinic, you can actually affect the lives of hundreds of thousands if not millions of people if you're successful. The other thing that's fantastic about science is the intellectual input. I really like solving problems and science is a fantastic place to be if you like solving problems. John Curtin School is a place where excellent research is done. We can tell that by the citation rates for the articles that we actually publish are the highest in, in Australia. Our um, senior researchers are the best in their fields. So John Curtin School is doing really high quality research in areas that are extremely important to human health.